How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring along with me to show you how I use my wireless and lav microphones, the settings that I use to get some crispy sounds. So let's jump right into it. If you've been following along with me, I've shown you how I use my Rode Video Micro for videos uh, for the sound as well as now the Cinco microphones ever since I've gotten them. And honestly, I've been using the live microphones relatively more often sometimes just to make sure that I have the best sound possible when it comes down to my videos. A lot of the times people will tell you that video is good, but sound is better. If your sound sucks in a video, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Not many people are gonna wanna stay unless that information is so dire, but most of the time they'll still try to find something better that has just overall better sound. So for me today, I thought it'd be great to show you what settings I use with my Cinco microphones when it comes down to the lav microphones, um, just to show you the settings that I use personally so that I get the best sound possible without clipping or anything like that when it comes down to just making sure it records properly. There are some settings on my Sony a7 IV and my Sony a7S III that I like to keep myself, you know, so that it makes sure that it's fine, as well as what I put into this so that, you know, the gain and everything is perfect and I can have good manipulation for post editing. Because when it comes down to my Rode Video Micro, the only thing I really have to do is just plug it in and then also set up just the, I guess the gain for the microphone and that's pretty much it. I don't really have to do too much fiddling as I would have to with a lav microphone, especially with a wireless transmitter, because it does give you that opportunity to adjust how much the loudness will be from this as well from the camera. So you kind of, I'm gonna show you my sweet spot, I guess. So I'm gonna just start putting the wireless microphone just on top of here to make sure that, you know, we have it all nice and set up how I normally would because, well, that way you get the full setup of this. Now, let's pretend that we already have our microphone over there, you know, set up to us. So I would just go ahead and start turning things on right here, um, as well as over here. So now that they're on, this is the thing that we're trying to look into. Might be a little bit hard to tell. I'm gonna see if I can make this brighter for you guys. But it has the mono and, and stereo, whatever you wanna do. Um, so right now I have it set at plus nine for the transmitter. So that whatever I'm doing, it'll be transmitted over here to the plus nine. So now if I go into my camera, I have the button set here at FN. But if you don't have it, you can just go into your, you know, settings for your camera, you know, you'll audio recording, audio recording on, audio level. So for this one, I put it at, at the plus two sign. Now, the reason why I do it, because I want it to be able to not be too loud on here and use this to get the least amount of noise possible when it comes down to recording onto the camera with a live microphone, because otherwise it gets a little bit kind of like uh, what's it called? Just background noise kind of style. Uh, so just a little white noise kind of thing. So I try not to do that. So plus two, then if we go back to our levels, if you see down there, if I bring this up to me now, check, 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 check. You see how it's not clipping, right? That's the main reason why we want to keep it at that, you know, plus two over here. And then the plus nine on this one. So this is the wireless, you know, lav microphone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I set it up. So whenever I'm, you know, doing my microphone kind of scenario of talking, I still have the best sound and hide it as much as possible. So it's not too visible either. And that's usually how I use my setup for this. Uh, I just kind of clip it inside where I have the microphone in as well, just for a little bit of extra wind kind of cancellation in case there is some wind. Helps out in all honest opinion for me, it's been pretty great. So I'm just gonna start walking away just to showcase how I would use it and how it sounds while I'm just, you know, if I was shooting photos or something, I'm just gonna, I've, I've done this for a couple of videos of mine already. So this is how it would sound whenever I'm just, you know, creating, walking around, making sure that I'm just, you know, sounding so crisp and so nice. And I gotta use this over here so that 
I don't burn up because it is very, very hot outside. Um, it says that it feels like 41 degrees Celsius. So if you're not from around here with the Celsius department, it is very hot. It's, I don't even know Fahrenheit, but I think it's like in the hundred area. So not too fun, not too fun. Texas heat is no joke, but this is the sound that it would just be like me walking around and creating. So we're just gonna sit down. Um, yeah, let's get this a little bit nice and I guess right here should be good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how I set up my sound for it. I also use it sometimes uh, basically for my GoPro or my phone. If I want to have just the lab microphone itself, I can control a little bit better with these, even though sometimes I can connect the lab microphone into directly the, um, the basically the headphone jack or the microphone jack for like your phone and the GoPro. It's still nice to have this to make sure that I don't be uh, like don't have the settings too up to be clipping. But so for my Sony a7 IV and my Sony a7S III, having the sound, you know, be as crisp as possible with my videos, despite of the, obviously these cameras being phenomenal for video already, I do want to have crisp sound. And this is a setting that I usually do for myself. The, you know, the plus two is the most important thing for me. I've done plus one, plus two. So just kind of dibble and dabble like either or depending on how much background noise there is around me. But I, I just mainly keep it at the plus two. Just I've noticed that it's been a better sweet spot for me. And then just make sure that the, the receiver is at plus nine. That way I have the best sound possible without as much white noise or surrounding noise whenever I go into post. This is what it sounds like just straight out. Right now you're gonna be hearing it with no editing and no post-production whatsoever. And then this is after I add my post-production kind of editing that I've created for myself for my sounding. That's how it sounds now with all of that. It's just, you know, most of my videos have it. I mean, honestly, all of them now have had it for quite a while. I know I've been trying to divvy up more into the sound department, especially since my first few videos on this channel. I wanted to become a lot more professional with the sound since I know most people would want to have better sound. And for myself, I've noticed that people focus on that most. So wanted to hopefully help you out in case you're wanting to do some lav microphone kind of style of, you know, videos. You want to have a good sound like there so it's not clipping too much. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to answer any questions that you might have when it comes down to this. Hopefully it'll help you out to just have better sound overall. For me, um, whenever I use this microphone, if you're wanting to know a little bit more about sound, I use this one and I put it at a, what's it called? At a plus 12, I believe. Um, so I never try to go too far up and down because I know I can bring back the sound a little bit higher because I don't want it to clip. So either nine or 12, depending on, you know, the surroundings and stuff like that. So just so you know, but this video is focused more on the lab microphone right here. This one comes with two actually. So if I wanted to have a second person, um, got this one right here. So two for one, I guess, but very good, very good uh, microphones for the price. If you want to check them out, I'll leave them linked down below. If you want to check any of the gear that I use, it's always down there. And hopefully it'll help you out to get the best gear that you need for your, you know, crunch and creation needs. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.